Hi, I'm Tony. Welcome to Sports Bike Shop's video about the Revit Mantis 2 H2O jacket. This jacket pulls together three different worlds of bike kit and it rolls them all up into one neat ball. The Mantis 2 H2O has the practicality of a textile jacket, it's got many of the protective qualities of a leather one and also the cooling performance of a mesh jacket. So if you're looking for something that's primarily for summer but can also handle life when it gets a bit cold and damp, then it's worth sticking with me. I'd say the Mantis 2 has the overall feel of a textile jacket but with the sort of close fit that I'd normally associate with one made from leather. It's short, sporty and snug. The bulk of the outer is made from two types of polyester, both are 600 denier for robust slide protection. One's got a traditional appearance and the other one has a series of hexagons printed on it that gives it a really distinctive look. Then there are decent chunks of cowhide to protect the shoulders, the elbows, and then you also get some at the waist and either side of the main fastener. There's a polyester stretch material inside the arms and under the arms as well for flexibility on the bike. And then you get the air mesh sections that cover the stomach, the back and the upper arms to bring through a refreshing amount of air on warm days. So it was in the mid 20s Celsius outside when I wore this jacket and the airflow definitely made life more comfortable. It's not like wearing a very lightweight mesh jacket. It gives a feeling of reassurance that this is a proper bike jacket just with plenty of ventilation and airflow. The main fastener, that's a chunky zip. The collar is a no fuss press stud and the only fit adjustment on this jacket comes from the pair of belts at the waist. The cuffs combine neoprene for flexibility and a zip. I wore this jacket with short leather gloves and that was absolutely fine. But if you want a full length glove, I think you'd need to wear them over the top as there's not a lot of room inside the jacket. So on the inside of the main jacket, there's a liner that delivers the last bit of the Mantis 2 H2O's name. That's the waterproof liner that also resists wind chill. So it covers you against rain, showers, and also a bit of chill. It's made from Hydrotex Light, a single layer of waterproof material that's lined so it won't stick to your skin. There's also a pocket on the inside of that liner, which is handy for keeping your stuff dry if it does rain. The liner fixes into the outer jacket with poppers, and you probably could wear it as a standalone layer if you had to, but it doesn't appear to have been designed with that in mind. Behind that waterproof layer is the main mesh liner, which is what holds the shoulder and the elbow armour. It's Revit's own C-Flex armour, and it meets the superior level two within the CE standard. There's no back or chest protection as standard, but there are pockets for both, and you can buy that armour separately to add into those pockets. The label on the inside of the jacket as well, it also shows the overall CE rating, which is AA, and that's the middle of the three pass levels available. There are three stow pockets inside the main shell as well. Add those to the one in the waterproof liner and then the two external hip pockets just here, and the total you get is six pockets with this jacket. The final bits to point out are the connections for jeans. You get three options. You get a full length zip, a short zip, or loops that can secure around your belt. So let's cover price. The Mantis 2 H2O jacket is £369.99 as we record this video. That's definitely not cheap, but this does cover quite a lot of rolls and in my opinion, it's a really good option for summer. I wore this for a day's ride up to Cadwell Park in really quite warm conditions with the liner out and the airflow through to the inside was very welcome. I then managed to peel my sweaty carcass out of a one-piece race suit after an evening on track and then put this back on for the ride home. This time it was a bit chilly and I put the liner back in, which was very welcome and it did a really good job of keeping me warm in those sort of conditions, which was high teens. I didn't find out about the waterproofing performance, but let's be frank, this isn't the sort of jacket really that I'd choose to wear on a wet, rainy day. That liner is there more to rescue you if you get caught out in the rain rather than it to be a solid and regular defense against wet weather. I wore this jacket with a pair of denim jeans and it's the sort of jacket that I'd really like to have in my wardrobe. It's flexible like a textile jacket, it's airy like a mesh one, but it's also close fitting and robust in the right places like a leather jacket. If I was going away for a few days and expecting mostly good weather with a really slim chance of rain, then this is the sort of jacket I'd be reaching for. I hope that tells you everything you wanted to know about the Revit Mantis 2 H2O jacket. But if there isn't anything you'd like to ask or to add, then please pop a comment below. Thanks for watching.